In this video, I will go over the exercises from the uh, vectors class and uh, the conditional statements class. So we were left with the exercise of like of saying how many days with the temperature over 35 uh, centigrades we have in this data set. First, let's create the data set again using the function that was provided. Okay. So now we are going to ask which, we, we are going to use the which command for that. Table uh, temp max larger than 35. So we got the positions in which they have the temperature larger than 35. But since only the quantity is asked, I can, for instance, just get the length of, of this vector. And And I see that there is 46 days with the temperature over 35 degrees in this data set. Uh, so the other exercise was uh, how many days with the sub-zero temperatures we have uh, the first day with the sub-zero temperature in January. So first, remember that at our table, the, the date of the observation is in the character so we have to, to transform it in a date we can use the command uh, as strp time to do that uh, passing the format in which the date is so now uh, let's see the structure okay now it's in the format date so uh, the date we can use it. It has a, it. It's subcomponents. For instance, month. It's just month. It returns only the month of the of this date, uh, starting by zero, right? So this means that the when month is equal to zero is January. Okay. So so let's create a variable. F days, freezing days, is, is equal to which yeah, table uh, observations month is equal to January and also end table temperature minimum temperature is smaller than zero. So we're asking the question uh, which days are with the month equal to zero and the temperature minimum is smaller than zero, the minimum temperature is smaller than zero. Okay. We got these positions. So now we can simple simply show the table these days from the table. We have the freezing days. Uh, let's say we, we want strictly to only return the date of the first freezing of January. We can always do table and then F days. And then I select only the first element of the freezing days. And here I select only the date of this table. So that's the date of the first freezing of this data set. Okay, so. That's it for this exercise. See you in the next class.